So just to kind of give you guys uh, some thoughts uh, out of my head and kind of um, put you guys into uh, my position as I was going through these PvP matches, me and my brother uh, went through and did some PvP. And this is all Boulder League specific, so if, uh, if PvP is your thing, but you may not be into Boulder League specifically, if you want to get involved, uh, go to sylph.gg. Uh, you can actually sign up and register all your stuff and uh, get started in some Boulder League tournaments. Uh, they last until January 31st, so by all means, go and register. One thing that I do want to tell you guys before we get into this is I do actually have an email set up for you guys to actually uh, send me content if you would like. Uh, I'll actually show that on the screen right here. Hopefully that looked cool. Uh, editing on fleek here. Talk to Atticus at gmail.com. Uh, super simple, super easy. If you guys want to send me, uh, if you screen cap your footage and you want to send it to me, I will try to uh, review it and actually put it out there and kind of show you my thoughts on it. This isn't going to be a thing where like I take uh, just your your screen cap and I just throw it up on the screen. Like I'm actually gonna I'm gonna try to watch it and I'm gonna try to actually almost pick it apart. I don't want to completely like bash on anybody, but uh, I do want to like actually sit down and look through it and kind of uh, think about like best strategies for when you're in that scenario again and uh, try to help you guys out in that regard. My biggest issue as far as PvP content goes is the only person that actually is semi interested in it is my brother and I would say his interest level is probably like a 3 out of 10. Uh, Weldon does not care anything about PvP. My brother did not put forth any resources for these matches uh, he had a couple of Pokemon that were decent as far as their CP and you know how close they were to this limit uh, but he did not have the resources to pour into them he didn't want to spend rare candies he didn't spend any stardust on these things and I told him that would be fine uh, my other problem is my Metacham is only at 899 CP which I'm pretty sure you saw uh, and that's because that's that's the best I can get. Metatite is actually quite rare in my biome. So, so this is the best that I could do. Um, as you see here, I'm going to start out with Skarmory, Metacham, and then Wizcash. I have talked a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot about uh, Camerup. I don't think that he is the end-all, be-all uh, Skarmory counter, but... I do think he is a great option, and I, I try to showcase it a little bit in this video. The, uh, the biggest problem is that my brother's my brother's Skarmory is not anywhere close to 1,500. I'm, I'm pretty sure he said it was like in the 600s or something like that, so it's really weak. Uh, it's a really terrible situation because I actually powered mine up, but we did the flipped, and uh, the last battle that we did, actually, he ended up facing against my Skarmory with his camera up. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how that turns out in just a second. All right, so here we go. First battle, uh, I start off with Skarmory, uh, only because I'm pretty sure that my brother has no clue what to uh, do against Skarmory. Um, so first thing that I always try to do is I at least try to get my first Pokemon uh, at least up high enough to have a charge move. And as you can see, he switched out to his Magneton. His Magneton is by no means a Discharge Magneton, so it's not like super, uh, super threatening. But I did at least want to get my Charge Move fully charged up, and then I immediately went for the Ground Choice here. Um, being that Whizcash has Mud Bomb on it, I definitely wanted something to do the super effective damage towards Magneton. Magneton actually, I'm pretty sure, takes four times damage. Um, because of lightning and steel is going to be weak to ground so throw over that mud bomb he of course shields it uh the first shield i'm pretty sure was a mishap i despise the way that we have to use shields in this game but anyways so we go back and forth here uh, i decide to not waste another shield on this magneton uh, because i didn't even know what kind of charge move he had but he only had flash cannon so that wasn't super bad uh, here I'm stuck. I'm actually stuck on my Wizcash, but I try to make the best out of it. 
Uh, I don't really have any moves that go good against his Metacham here. So I'm just kind of throwing uh, my quickest charge move out as many times as I can to try to just push any damage before this uh, Whizcash dies. So, of course, me being as low health as I am and not going to be able to do super effective damage, I just take this death. No big deal. I'm going to whip out my Metacham for some reason. I definitely should have switched to Skarmory. Skarmory would have been a great, uh, would have been in a great position here. But uh, I think in my head at the moment I was trying to say, well, I'm going to save my Skarmory because just in case something goes wrong, I still have that to fall back on. I knew that it was around 50% health or somewhere close to that, so I could, uh, I could at least hold on to it. So he whips out Gligar, and I knew with Ice Punch I could take this match fairly quickly. So that's exactly what I did. Turn around, use Ice Punch, and just pushed as much damage as I could. Even though my Metacham is only 900 CP, it held up very good against his Gligar. Uh, I don't know exactly what CP his Gligar was, but uh, Metacham is just top dog in my opinion. Like, he is just amazing. So I opt to use Camerupt. Oh, I remember. So this match was where I told him to choose his Skarmory first, and it's about right here where he's choosing his team uh he tells me that his skarmory is only in the 600s i think he said it was really close to seven like 682 or something like that so not the greatest of uh of matchups considering my camera up was maxed out uh under my iv conditions so i just told him to go with it we will see how it goes and shortly after this uh we flop it and i use my maxed out skarmory against his maxed out uh camera up that was that was what he ended up using he actually had a camera up uh now that i think back so the next match starts here i start out with camera up he starts out with skarmory and you can see that my camera up does super effective damage and because how weak his skarmory is it literally goes down with i think like four or five hits uh so i actually immediately switch here because i figured that he was going to go with Whizcash. Uh, it did not let me switch for some reason. So I immediately tried to switch as quickly as I could. Uh, his Whizcash actually does fairly decent against my Skarmory here. Um, it, it, you don't really have to plan that hard against the Skarmory if you have a decent Whizcash. I actually really like Whizcash. Uh, of course my Skarmory doesn't have Brave Bird on it. Uh, I did not even have close to the amount of candies that I needed to unlock it. Uh, I caught a wild Skarmory uh, on Community Day. It didn't have uh, didn't have Brave Bird on it either. So I just kind of am using what I have. As you can see, he's used two, I think, uh, and then he actually takes me out there. So with Blizzard, Skarmory actually goes down fairly quickly against that uh, that Whizcash there. So up against the camera up here i'm completely at a disadvantage i have nothing that's going to be good against this camera up left uh psychic's not going to do any good ice punch is not going to do any good so i'm just literally trying to beat it down as quickly as i can counter is one of the best fast moves that you can use in this league i'm not kidding it is so so good in my personal opinion i wanted to have psychic on my metacham instead of close combat or counter or or instead of close combat because I wanted to be able to uh, push damage to any fighting types that uh, my brother may have. So as you can see there, I did push enough damage to end up winning that match as well. So I did okay. Uh, I was kind of stuck against the camera up, which was kind of scary because I didn't have anything that was super effective. But because counter is such a good move, I ended up coming out on top. So, this next match, uh, we end up swapping. Uh, I chose to put my Skarmory first. He chose to put his camera up first. And we went with it in that order. So, let's see how this match turns out here. And I start out with Skarmory. He starts out with camera up. And three, two, one, go. Now, even Skarmory with Brave Bird's not going to. Not going to do super effective damage to camera up whatsoever. So here I'm literally just trying to push as much damage as I can. I start hitting that flash cannon. So I do have a leg up on him. 
and he ends up shielding this. He ends up doing fairly well here. And he uses overheat, I'm pretty sure is what he has. Can't remember if he had... No, he actually had solar beam, which definitely put him back in the race. And as you can see, it is literally a race to see who can get the next charge move. And I barely beat him. I mean, you can see, even with solar beam, Skarmory had the slightest bit of health. And immediately after he sends out Whiskash, I die. So I switched to Metacham to try to push some decent DPS here. Uh, hoping that counter does okay, but his Whiskash is just powered up too far. My Metacham only being 900 CP, it, it just can't take the damage. So he's actually going to be pushing more DPS than I am at the moment. And my Metacham is slowly, slowly falling. You can see it here. I didn't want to switch. Uh, I knew that my camera up was going to be just as bad. It was going to have a, a hard time against this uh, Whiskash here. So I opted to throw a shield because I'm pretty sure I... I just had it, and I wanted to try to last as long as I could, try to get this Whizcash as close to dead as I possibly could because I knew that Camerupt was going to have a hard time with it. Metacham goes down, and Camerupt comes out. Me doing Fire Blast, I'm pretty sure, or Ember. I think it's Ember. Uh, I just had no chance. I, I, I couldn't push any neutral damage whatsoever, and I fell.